Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show where I offer misguided advice about video games. Game of choice, Hearthstone. Today I'm going to be showing you the Paladin deck. I'm going to start playing Paladin for Season 3. I'd like to get the Golden Portrait if I can. Currently at 2 out of 500 ranked wins, so I've got quite a while until I get to game win number 500 where I can get the Golden Portrait. My goal is to get the Golden Portrait for every hero because I have no life. Because I have no life. <laughs> um, I'm going to be playing the Shockaden deck, very popular popular deck for Season 2 that just ended. Uh, There's a lot of people that were playing it. I think there was a total of 46 people in the Legendary rank class that were playing a Shockaden deck. So it's very popular. Uh, it's nothing new. Uh, nothing too crazy and exciting. Different. The fact is, in a game like Hearthstone, there's only so many different type of decks you can make and variations of those decks, and sure, there's endless possibilities, but the fact is, the best deck is going to be the best deck is going to be the best deck, so I might as well roll with it. Roll with the best deck. Alright, playing against the Hunter. So, when you're playing a Shockadin deck, for those of you who are not familiar with this deck, you are going to want to keep your lower costing minions at the beginning and save your more expensive costing uh, spell cards and things like that for later. Um, more expensive being 4 mana crystal hammer of wrath. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Actually it might be useful to hold on to because we are playing against a hunter and you might throw down like a 4-4 taunt or something. Um, Okay, good. We'll use that on turn one. We can do that with the coin on turn two. Got some options. I think this is a good starting lineup. Worgen Infiltrator will be the first card to throw down. Definitely going to be the first card to throw down. Even if I get a Leper Gnome, I think I'll throw down the uh, Worgen Infiltrator. Alright, here we go. End the turn. So, the way you want to play this kind of a deck is you want to be very aggressive. You want to Zerg your opponent down at the beginning. And for those of you who don't know what that means, Zerging your opponent just means you swarm them with a whole bunch of cheapy costing minions on the board. Okay, easy response. We're just going to be attacking into that with the Elven Archer. Then we're going to go ahead and drop down the Abusive Sergeant. Go ahead and attack him. Hold on to the coin for another turn. So if he does use his uh, spell card that drops down a random beast and he gets the 4-4 taunt, we can coin into the Hammer of Wrath next turn. He does not. Is he going to be throwing down a boar? Nope. Again, he does not. So, easy answer for us. We go ahead and attack into it with the Elven Archer. And I'm thinking I want to hold on to the Worgen Rider for one... Well, do I... Nope, let's go ahead and drop him down now. Not a big deal. I'm kind of worried that he's going to throw down a... Uh, kind of worried he's going to throw down a multi-shot, but uh, it's okay. I'd rather go ahead and just try to do as much damage up front as I can. I had thought about uh, doing the reinforce. Alright, there he goes. There's a multi-shot as predicted. Not a big deal. Because now, we can go ahead and reinforce, go ahead and buff up our Worgen infiltra Infiltrator. So we've done quite a bit of damage with the Worgen Infiltrator. I think we've done a total of 10 points of damage, maybe 12 so far. Got a couple of Hammer of Wraths in our hand. We've got an Equality in case he throws something down and we don't want to use a Hammer of Wrath. Anything with more than 4 hit points. Alright, he's going to be doing an Arcane Shot to get rid of the Abuse of Sergeant. Not a big deal. Doing a steady shot. Doesn't have much else to respond, it looks like. So, as a result of that, we're going to go ahead and... True Silver Champion. We're going to go ahead and coin. Now, let's hold on the coin. First the battle for justice. Should I use the coin now? No, because then turn 7 I can use it back to back. <coughs> So we got the game next turn. If he doesn't get rid of my minions, doesn't get rid of my weapon. Still got the Hammer of Wrath. Okay, he's going to be throwing down a Tundra Rhino. Popping out a flare. He's trying to get some card draw. I have no secrets currently at the moment, so it's not a big deal. Alright, looks like we are going to lock in game numero uno. There you have it. 
Well played, sir. Well played. Bum, 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 bum. Hooray! Okay. Three out of 500 wins. <laughs> Who excuse and moi? So, this is a very fun deck. Very aggressive. A lot of aggressive decks are very fun. You know what the benefit of having an aggressive style deck is? If you lose, you're going to lose quickly. If you win, you're going to win quickly. Whereas if you play a, a longer, slower, controlling kind of deck like a mage, which is probably my favorite way to play anyways, but regardless, if you do tend to play those kind of decks, you are going to take a lot longer to, uh, to win or lose. So if you play three matches as an aggressive style deck and you win all three matches or lose all three matches, let's say, for example... Uh, it takes you 10 minutes a match, right? With uh, an aggressive style deck. So you play three matches, you win two, you lose one. That's a total of 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, you've won two games. Uh, now, if you play a, a more controlling, slow type of deck, uh, and say it takes you 20 minutes a match, uh, we're going to go ahead and drop down and reinforce in the turn. Say if you, drop, uh, if you play three matches, 20 minutes each match, because you're playing a slower, controlling type of deck, um, and you win two and lose one, then you've won two games in 40 minutes, which is double the time, and you've lost a game in another 20. So you've won two games in a half hour, or two games in one hour. So it doesn't take much to figure out the math on that one. Uh, how many cards do we have? Three, four, five. That's three, six, seven. Mm. Uh, I think I've seen this kind of deck before. We're going to go ahead and just keep doing Reinforce. Yeah, we're playing against a warrior who's got a lot of protection, or a lot of armor. He's going to be throwing down. He most likely has the uh, the legendary charge warrior card somewhere in his deck for later on. He's got a couple of younger or cheaper charge cards. He's got a whirlwind. Okay, not a big deal. Okay. So I'm thinking, should I drop the Leroy Jenkins this turn? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and drop down. For justice. It's kind of a waste here. I don't know if I'm playing this correctly. You're going to have to forgive me. I'm not I'm not a big Paladin player. As you can see, I've only got three out of 500 wins. So I don't really know how to play Paladins too much. Hopefully I'll learn as the season progresses. I don't know if we'll be able to make it to 500 wins by the end of June, end of Season 3, but we'll see how close I can get. Alright, doing an upgrade on his deck here. Dropping down all his cards, which kind of sucks. I should have used the Divine Favor when I had the chance. Only would have gotten a couple of cards out of it, but that's okay. Okay. Let me think here. Let's go ahead and drop down. For justice. Reporting for duty. Okay. Healing ourselves up. Dropping them down to a total of 21 hit points. Not sure how Paladin Shockaden deck ranks up against other type of decks. I, I did play against an, another Shockaden before I created the video, and I lost. I thought I was going to win because I was getting rid of his minions and maintaining a little bit of board control, but the problem was I didn't have any taunt. He kept ignoring my minions and attacking me in the face, which is, I guess, what I should have done to him. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Cross that road when we get there. Okay, we're going to be doing lots of oodles of damage. Very good. Getting rid of all of his armor. Seems to be holding up fairly decent. I could drop down Leroy Jenkins and Con Consecration on turn 8, which I think is what I'm gonna do. Just get rid of his, uh, get rid of his, um, whelps that I give him with the Leroy Jenkins. Okay, so he has effectively wiped my board. Pulling out all the stops, trying to do as much damage to me as he can. I think I might be dropping down a Hammer of Wrath next turn. Holy dear god, he did 8 points of damage there. It was a lot of damage. Go ahead and drop down a Hammer of Wrath. Excellent. Drop down a Wolf Rider next turn. We'll drop down the Leroy Jenkins and the Consecration. Or, 
If I need to, I can do an equality and consecration. Hopefully, though, he's just going to armor up or something. Nope, he's not going to armor up. He's going to be attacking into me, most likely. Yep, there he goes. Okay. Okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. I think I should be okay because his charge card is cost 9. So he can't pull it out next turn. Alright, here we go. Okay, he's down to 10 hit points. I'm down to 12. He's getting pretty close here. Let's see what happens. Oh, looks like he's got the game. be doing six points of damage to my face and another six points of damage to my face hold up I thought he already used one of those cards Wow okay well there you have it <laughs> I lost my second match let's try to play another match to see if I can get in I don't know what I did wrong <laughs> did I do something wrong maybe we'll see we shall see Gonna play play one more match, then I'm gonna hop off here, go make my juice, and go take a shower and go to work. Cause I have to go to work. I don't get to play video games all day long like some of those fine people in YouTube land. That would be a lot of fun. Alas, I am not one of them. Uh, nope. Mm. Nope. 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 I'm just going to toss it all back. I want to get a, a one mana crystal minion if I can. Ah, shucks. Well, I could drop down Bluegill Warrior first turn of the coin. Oh, butternuts. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Next turn, maybe do a reinforce. Most likely. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're gonna be ignoring that bad boy. Do a reinforce. Now, why do I wanna ignore that? A lot of times I would go ahead and get rid of that minion because that's what you call board control is maintaining board presence with your minions and destroying your enemies' minions on the board, hence board control. But uh, when you're playing this type of deck, you want to be as aggressive as you can and hope that, that your opponent doesn't have an answer. Uh, the idea is you just constantly throw stuff down turn after turn after turn, and your opponent is not able to keep up with that. Alright. Yep, so I think it's safe to go ahead and do that. Going to drop down another reinforce. Go ahead and attack into him. Our opponent's down to 23 hit points. He could be pulling out a lightning storm right now. He could uh, do a forked lightning. He could just do a lightning bolt, which would be kind of a waste. But uh, he sees that I'm being very aggressive. He most likely knows what a Shakaden, Shakaden deck is. So he's going to want to try to curve my Shakaden aggression. Okay, there comes an Earth Shock. Not a big deal. Okay, not a big deal. Ending the turn. Yep, here it comes. Okay. So, what to do? I could use True Silver Champion. I prefer to save it for when I am down in health, which I think is what I should have done last game. Although, 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 although. If I just continue to be aggressive, I can do four points, five, six. I can do six points of damage to him. Yep, let's go ahead and drop it down. I might not be getting the uh, healing out of it like I would want, but uh, at this point, I'd rather go ahead and just try to attack him as much as I can. Guess the concept of the Shakadin deck is to be very aggressive, so I might as well be as aggressive as I can. Okay, he has pulled every totem card except for the taunt card, which is excellent for us. 
he could have some sort of a uh, what you call blood bloodlust or whatever it's called uh, coming up in his neck, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm not too worried indeed. Let's see, uh, three points of damage, four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. That's the game right there. Okay. Now we have a, a, an equality and a consecration to break through any sort of taunt that he might throw out next turn. So let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and drop down Blessing of Might. We'll go ahead and attack into him. There we go. Yep. Yep. Drop down another True Silver Champion. End the turn. So he's very close to dying. He could die within the next two turns. Hopefully. He doesn't have some sort of crazy bloodlust combo that he's going to pull on me. Hopefully he spends his turn throwing down some uh, Dire Wolf Alphas or whatever they're called, those two taunt cards. Alright, there's his last totem. It is the taunt card. Not a big deal. We're going to go ahead and drop down Equality, Consecration this turn, attack him in the face with the True Silver Champion, and finish the game off with a Hammer of Wrath. Here we go. Bada bing! Bada boom! Excellent, excellent, excellent! Provided that he doesn't heal himself up past seven hit points, I think we've got the game. And check it out, we're still at, uh. We're still at, uh. 30 hit points. <laughs> Good game. Well played, sir. Oh, we'll play it. There you go. All right. There you have it. The Shockadin deck. Let me back out of here and show you what the deck comprises of. I found this deck online at hearthpone.com. Like I said, it's a very popular deck. It was very popular in Season 2. Uh, and seems to be holding decent water in Season 3 against the uh, high teenage ranks. Okay, there you go. Uh, pause the video if you were interested in copying down what is in the deck. And I'm going to be playing a lot more Paladin, so if you have any requests, please leave a comment in the comments below. Um, I'm going to be experimenting with some different deck ideas. But ultimately, my goal is to uh, zero in on a really, really effective Paladin deck. And I would like to get as close to rank 1 as I can, as fast as I can and then stay there and then play around with uh, some arena. That's kind of been my idea. I do want to get to Legendary this season. I would love to get the opportunity to rank into Legendary if I can. So we're going to just try to, my strategy for that is to just basically get as close to one as I can and then take a break, go play some arena a little bit, kind of get a feel for that, experiment with some different uh, deck uh, drafting ideas. And then once I've gotten my fill on that, because I, I am really interested in playing arena, I just really am more interested in getting to legendary. So to kind of satiate the uh, hunger, I guess you could say, that I have for both of those, uh, instead of getting into legendary rank, which I think you can ultimately get kicked out of if you're not active, I think it'd be better to just get to rank one or as close to it as I can and then go to arena. In any case, uh, stick around on my channel if you are interested in seeing more decks about Paladin. Season 3, I'm going to be playing nothing but Paladin. I might play some other decks uh, for the kick of it just to uh, kind of see how that type of deck plays and then how to counteract it. But uh, for the most part, I am going to be trying to get to the Golden Portrait of the Paladin for Season 3 in the month of June. So folks, until next time, hope you've enjoyed, and my name is Meerkat.